Hi guys and welcome to the Pegasus Show. I'm your host Admiral Pegasus and on today's show we're going to be talking about this lady here, Carol Freeman, captain of the USS Cerritos. Yes, our paywalled officer. Well then again, all three paywalls have been, well all three officers have been on behind at least some sort of a paywall unless you had the materials and the resources and the speed ups and whatever to actually go after one of the other two officers in the SLBs. But we're not here to talk about those two, no we're here to talk about Carol because as of today, the time of recording with five, just under five days left of the arc, Lower Decks 2 Part 1. I've unlocked uh, Carl Freeman after spending a whopping £20. Yeah, I actually spent some money on the game to get the Elite Battle Pass. Now, I primarily go after the Battle Pass. I'm just going to put this out there because of the resource and materials and the economy received, the G4 economy received a nice boost to the fact that I've got around about 26 billion titanium in there. I love that. So, and also, it's also taken me from around about 2.3 trillion steel to around about 2.7 trillion. Yeah, a fair whack of um, steel in there as well. But there's been various events as well that have also been nicely paying out. So, I would actually say resources have been nice this month. But we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about Carol Freeman. Now, there was only one way you were going to source this officer completely straight out this month, and that was going to be here in the Battle Pass, providing you did spend on the Elite side. Now, for the uh, get, for, uh, sorry, for the video purposes, we're basically going to do the currency as American dollars or British pounds sterling. So, yeah, despite the fact that economically in the glo in the world there's a, a, a vast difference between the two for some reason in the game they charge you exactly the same but anyway so for twenty dollars or twenty pound you can get the elite battle pass unless you wanted to spend the hundred dollars or hundred pound on the um elite battle pass with all the extra goodies inside would not recommend it because this month has not exactly been one of the best months and it's been a complete shambles and it's not exactly been a month that's been kind to every single place. This has been a complete paywall month, which is uh, not nice for play for a lot of players. But anyway, it is what it is. If you was going to spend some money in a game, literally, I'd only suggest this. But we're not going to talk about finances because I keep diverging. It's Carol Freeman. So as you can see here on Milestone 2, on the free line, you're going to have one blueprint. On the elite side, you've got five. So that's six blueprints just to start you out. Then you had to complete the rest of it to get to the end where on the free line, you'd get four. So basically for the free line, you'd only get five blueprints. Woo! -hoo! And on the elite side, you're going to get a whopping 90. That's going to complete the set. Yeah, she's 100 uh, blueprints strong. So you get 94 on the elite side, six on the main on the free side, giving you a whopping 100 blueprints, uh, sorry, 100 shards to unlock Carol Freeman. Now, what we're also going to discuss on this video is a uh, captain's ability, officer's ability. I will be taking a couple of uh, warships on that I've just found mining. Yes, mining. And we're actually going to use a ship comparable in power to actually it's still a bit stronger than them, but. Um, I'm a level 46 player, is to be expected. But what we're going to hopefully be able to show is Carol Freeman working nicely. Now, what I can say about uh, um, Carol Freeman, yeah, not an awful lot at the minute, <laughs> to be honest, because we've um, only just got a... I've not had a chance to run many tests, but as you can see, I've got a ship sat there. It is currently the Kamari. So let's jump into the officer and actually have a look at what she is. So, organize your officers by group, and you're going to scroll right down until you find her in the in amongst the lower deckers. Yes, she is a lower decks synergy officer. There we go. Carol Freeman, if we press the I button, um, oh, I, I didn't notice that before. But as you can see here, class command, she's a command officer, lower decks group, and a faction federation so she is going to cost you your federation faction credits and obviously need command badges to upgrade as well so just bear that in mind now i would always recommend that you at least take a tier one officer to level five because obviously your levels actually go towards your mess hall 
So you'll be able to upgrade your mess hall as well, get better stats on your officers. Treat wise, let's have a quick look at these if in case you actually want to put her on an away mission. Captain dedicated and relentless, so bear that in mind. But let's jump back into where we actually want her. First of all, Captain's ability. She is a bridge officer, pure and simple. You can put a below decks if you wanted to, pretty much for stats. She is primarily a health officer. That's nice. We need more health officers. But on the start of combat against players, Carol Freeman increases your shots by 100%. So basically taking a one shot weapon up to two shots, a five we shot weapon up to 10 shots. There you go. Plain, simple, lovely. That's what we like. So basically she's going to be a Miles O'Brien against players, but this is a guaranteed increase straight out. I do have a battle log to show you as well. It is not exactly full of a lot, but hey ho. Officer's ability. <clears throat> on round start, if an enemy player has any state, Carol Freeman increases your isolated cascade damage by 60% for one round. Now, there are limits. Yeah. You need warships that are pretty much going to, or any ship really, that's going to offer one of these four abilities. Morale, burning, hull breach, or assimilated. Yeah. So, the th two ships I'm looking at, I'm potentially not even going to find that. But, we'll have to, we'll wait and see. <clears throat> and, obviously, isolated cascade multipliers, um, your total damage, including isolated damage, and all the research. So, basically, giving you that big boost. This is potentially a good officer that you could use against those strike teams. Yes, because they always come at you with um, hull breach. Yeah, have you seen those Talieses flying around with the um, the Cardassians on board? Yes, hull breach. So, or you could go up against the um, battleship strike team. Absolute one thing to um, negate strike team Lalan from working with burning. So, but obviously you're still going to end up having to fight through um, sh strike team Una, who's actually the most effective out the three of them. But yeah. So if you can't get those any of those abilities, then sadly, she's not going to proc. Yeah, as I found out earlier today by shooting a miner. So, let's jump out and let's have a quick look at these two particular ships that we have found. And see if we can actually find any abilities on them. So, this first one is going to be a Kamari. Yeah. Absolutely no, no abilities on that one. And if we actually look on this one as well, again, no, we're not going to find it. But it is a Bortus. So, again, sadly, we're not going to find any ability on those particular two ships. Okay, so unfortunately, those targets didn't, weren't going to provide me anything. But I did manage to find a target. So, I've obviously, come back home to change the ship. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly point out this little thing. So, if we can just get that to scroll... So as you can see, this thing fires one shot on that particular weapon, one shot on that one, and two shots every two rounds. So what we're ideally going to be seeing when we see the increase of weapons, we're going to see two, two, and then every two rounds we're going to see a four. So that's what we want to see. Now this ship is going to provide us a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to put anything extra on, we're just going to run with the particular crew that I've already loaded out. In fact, let's, before... We actually jump in there. Um, trust me to always be in the bloody way. But what we're going to do is quickly mention about a crew loadout that I'm going to recommend with Carol Freeman. Now, pretty much you can put whoever you want. But if you're going to go up against other players, I would definitely recommend a critical build either side. Now, there is one officer that you can put below deck. Now, sadly, I do not have this officer. But that is 7 of 9. Because she has a below deck ability. Which is to increase cascade. Uh, isolated cascade. By 12% against players. So using 7 of 9. And what you can do. Is you can. If we just actually select off here. You can literally stick her on a below deck slot. And she's going to work perfectly with Carol Freeman. So like I said. Let's go for a critical build on the on the top deck. So I'm here. I'm going to put. Oh, hello! That wasn't meant to happen. 
So I'm going to use Gorkun, and the reason I'm going to use Gorkun is the whole breach. We do have a video coming out eventually, soon, hopefully, on the whole breach. I'm going to discuss the other states as well. But obviously, when we take a hit, it is going to increase ice, um, whole, um, POC whole breach for three rounds. I'm also going to throw Wharf on there as well to increase that critical chance, basically increasing the critical damage that I deal, and whole breach is going to also assist with that. So, like I say, put some, put some states on there, give yourself that extra boost. Now, you could also potentially look at the strike teams. If you're not bothered about Carl Freeman's extra shots and everything, then, yeah, stick her on the side with, uh, with the strike teams, maybe like the interceptor ones. Get that whole breach. Um, is it Garrick on the other side, on the side, and Carol on the side of that as well? So you're getting isolated damage against the players, but you're also getting your whole breach and the extra boost that um, Garrick provides. So now this poor little 47 here is a target we're going to go after, and what I can tell you now is this one is going to provide us a chat, uh, um, the ability to show off. Um, Carl Freeman, but as a bonus as well, we're also going to steal some loot off this guy. Yeah, now it says hard because obviously this is going to be a Kelvin. I'm going in with an Enterprise, less power. So he's obviously operating morale on an intercept on the Kelvin with a shield boost. Okay, we're not going to quiver too much over there, but he does have that um, chance of um, increasing uh, critical damage. Is at 4%, so that's not particularly too bad. But again, it's going to be Captain Kirk. He's got a 75% chance of inspiring morale. So let's go after him and see what happens. And we'll have a look at this battle log afterwards. But I also want to show you another battle log. I went, oh, hello. He's um, auto grinded at the minute. Yeah, I'm not bothered about this. this. So I'm going to take him out. He's got no chance of warping away now. Boom, we've hit him. Yes, he is badly damaged, so we're definitely going to stand a chance against this thing. And as you can see, we took barely any damage against that. So let's jump into the logs. I'm just going to leave that there in case he decides he wants to come back after me with his ship fully repaired, which he might do. But we're going to have a look at this one first. Now, this was a mine I went after, and I couldn't understand why the ca um, isolated damage was so low. And as you can see, I went in with a Defiant. So, Carol Freeman does increase my shots on this one. I will just say that one. And obviously, was giving me that critical chance, which is automatically giving me the critical damage straight away. So, it realistically, the officer ability of Carol is not activated at any point, And this poor Meridian got absolutely slaughtered. Well, it was a, it was a 2 million Meridian against a 17 million Defiant. Stood absolutely no chance. So, not really much chance to show off. Uh, Freeman, but there was nothing procking a state. That's the big thing. Now, I don't, I'm not quite sure we're going to go many rounds against this thing, but oh, we went two rounds. So, Carl Freeman immediately starts by procking a hundred percent. So, like I say, we're looking at two, two, four. So, two rounds, we will see the edge that uh, four shot hopefully in the next round, but as you can see. Um, Kirk has inspired morale on his ship, so which means Spock's act activated. So hopefully, what we're going to see a little bit later on is we're going to see Carol Freeman actually procking. So we've um, so we've fired a shot. Gorkin has procked his hull breach. So we're now doing critical damage, and again, there we go. Take some shots off the Kelvin, but. Um, what kind, what kind of firepower was firing? 2.2 million, 1.9 million. And that, so this is Carl Freeman already doubling those shots. So there's the two first round weapons. And boom, there it was. Kirk procced. So Carol has now activated an isolated cascade. So let, let's just take a look at the cascade damage. There's a cascade damage that we would do in. Okay. So that's actually quite small. I, I think I worked at around about 1%. 1%. We haven't got morale on the Enterprise, so we haven't got that to work with. But look at this. This is the increase already. 
1.9 straight to 1.2 million isolated damage. We're literally slaughtering this Kelvin now. Literally slaughtering this Kelvin. So let's have a quick look at the calculator. If I can get it to move across. So that's the percentage we was looking at for the last one. I, I worked that out on the Defiant. So it's roughly about 1%. But if we actually take this one, so we've got 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 4, 7. Oh, hello. 4, 7. Okay, so 1.2 million. And then we're going to divide by 1975. Oh, for Lord of sakes, I hate small keys. Oh my, oh my lordy. Divide 1975273. There you go. 63%. Six, just short 63%. Now that's. Now, what that's also doing is taking in any isolated cascade damage, uh, isolated damage from my artifacts and, of course, any other officers on the ship as well. So, if, if seven of nine was in there, guarantee you can add twelve percent onto that as well. So you can add a twelve onto that, so that'll be seventy seventy five percent damage. So, Carol, Carol's got a chance to really, really boost your shots. So, and again. This was showing that the fact that Kirk propped morale, the following round, Carol's officer's ability propped. And of course, we're still firing those shots. So there's the energy weapon again. Again, still procking that massive amount of damage. And here comes the big gun, which remember, fires two shots. So this should be firing shot. One shot, blew the shields apart. And here come, and then look at that. Two more shots, tore through the hull of the Kelvin, blowing it up, and then one final shot. But they were criticals as well, so let's bear that in mind. I came prepared to actually take this thing on. And, yeah, I did the job. Absolutely did the job. And then, ju just for spoils, how much did we take? 81,000 Tritanium. Not bad. I'll take that. So, yeah. And this was actually, um, he'd actually obviously been and repaired himself in the meantime and put his ship back out. Hmm, okay. Because it was badly battered last time I, when I originally saw it. But yeah, he's obviously not come after me again. So that's fine. So that's Carol Freeman, as you, as you clearly see, working nicely. Yeah. I wonder how much more powerful I could actually go against with the Enterprise. But anyway... Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is Carol Freeman going to be an absolute benefit for your team? Is she going to be one that you could potentially use against the strike teams? Let me know. I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is the Pegasus Show. Thank you for joining me. Smash the like button, please, if you like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Also, if you wish to donate to the channel, there are links below. So, who's coming in here? Oh, it's a friendly. I can't touch him. So, anyway, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, live long and prosper, goodbye.